Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Chelsea if you're new and welcome back to another vlog. Let me tell y'all what today is. It is April, it's April 14th, 11.45 a.m. And I'm getting ready to head to Sephora. Today is the first day of the Sephora VIB sale. I'm gonna have a, I'm tired, I've been doing a lot. I'm having like a girls day today with my friend. We're gonna go shopping at Sephora. And then I also think we're going to like this perfume store and then probably out to eat. We're definitely going out to eat. So yeah, it's just gonna be fun. I'm actually trying to get out the house right now. So let me grab my extra battery so I can vlog um, my purse. Yeah, I'm gonna be headed out. Here's my outfit, super simple. I just got on some jeans. Um, my Gucci clogs, this Louis Vuitton bag, and this oversized white t-shirt from H&M, which I highly recommend. I got it in white and black, and I love these. So, yeah, let's go. Not that it just started raining. Bruh. I'm not even finna sit here and complain. I'm not even finna sit here and go on and on and on about all the money I spent because, yeah. <laughs> but I do need to look over what I bought for real because, what, girl, what the hell did you just spend all that money on? Like, what did you just buy? <sighs> We're about to go to this new crab plate. Well, I don't know if it's new. I've never seen it before. My first time seeing it was last night and I was like, hmm. It's a crab shack. It's called Angry Crab. This man just wanna flick me off because I have my turning signal on indicating that I'm waiting for this lady to finish packing her and her child up and pull off. And you're gonna flick me off because you're stupid because you've been sitting here waiting behind me for like two minutes. I even let my window down and went like, go around. Bro. Mm, 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 mm pissed me off because like it was a long line behind him too and this lady is moving the fastest she can to get her and her baby situated and put in the car and she probably feel like all this pressure for not only me waiting right here to get her spot but the long line of fucking cars <clears throat> it just aggravated me she's almost done now though a new fragrance too i can't wait to take a shower and be able to spray it on myself to see if I really like it because I sprayed so much stuff in the store I, I really wasn't able to tell for real so it's straight ahead it's called angry crab shack why they named it that I don't know but fingers crossed it's good Y'all, that was good. <sighs> that was real good. It's called Angry Crap Shack in Atlantic Station. So, check them out. Now we're going to Indie House. I'm so excited. So, we actually went to Indie House before. We went to the one. Y'all, I'm full. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay. They must live out here because I always see them out here. They gotta live out here. At the stop sign, but, um, turn right onto 17th Street Northwest. We went to Indie House before. We went to the one in Atlantic Station. I mean, ugh. we went to the one in Alpharetta and we actually like made perfume. They opened up a uh, like storefront in Midtown. So we're gonna probably go perfume shopping. And Indie House always have like the exclusive stuff, so. I'm excited. I'm excited. We're here. Y'all, I had to unbutton my pants. A girl. A girl is full. Okay, okay. Let me button my pants back up. Hold on. Okay. And my shirt still clean. That's because I wore my little bib, y'all. Let's go. Indie house. 
This looks yes, pretty. Smell this one. Ooh. Really like this one. Like yes. really like that one. Popular set too. This smell. This one room service smells really good. This one also smelled really good. Really good. This is called vacation, and it literally smells like a vacation. I, I wish I could smell this. So good. I hope the wind isn't too loud. I've smelled so many perfumes, and I got one. I'm so excited to show y'all my newest perfume. And then right across the street, me too. And I'm gonna go over there and look at the furniture I want to buy once again because I'm annoying. That's just what I do. So, see y'all over there. This color has just been doing it for me. Like, I love that color so much. Like, I'm not mad at this. I like this bar stool. That's really cute to me. I like that. Absolutely love these brown glasses. Definitely getting some of those when it's time. And then this mirror. I think this mirror is really nice. Big mirror. And I like it because it's frameless. Shout out to me for keeping my shirt clean all day. Like, what? <laughs> well, well, I did wear my little bib when we ate crabs, but still, still, it's clean. Hey y'all, trying to get y'all positioned. Okay, yeah, that'll do. Who today has been a day, a very, very eventful day. So y'all know I started off at Sephora, which we have, uh, we have some things, a lot of things. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna go through that stuff, probably after I get out the shower. Um, and then went to Sephora and then I went to the Crab Shack. Really, really good. I'm actually gonna finish up my stuff before I take a shower because I have some leftovers. After that, we went to Indie House. Really enjoyed my time at Indie House. I feel like we were there for at minimum hour. And it's a really small space. But they have so many different perfumes. Nothing but niche fragrances. So you could just go around smelling so many different fragrances. She had actually told us that the owner of the business had just got back from Milan. And she's bringing in like six new houses. So I'll probably be going back soon to see what's new in yeah, just all in all, a really good day after we left there. Finished up at CB2. I was so happy to see that last time I was at CB2, the same lady who was helping me, she was there. She was, like, actually making me, like, mood boards and things last time. And so we were just talking about, like, what I'm looking for. I showed her um, the apartment I'm going to apply for. I showed her, like, the layout, the room that would be the office and the living room. And just so many things. And we were just talking, you know, about that and then what else oh finished up at jenny's and now i'm home i just checked my mailbox and i had a package from um i believe it's briogeo it's a hair care company they reached out and they wanted to send me some products to try and i'm going to be in my hair care era soon like really trying to take care of my natural hair because yeah i want to be i want to have like you know that option to wear my hair when I want to wear hair and it's not all like broken off and brittle and damaged. You know what I mean? So let's see what's in here. Okay, first thing I see is this Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Strengthening Treatment Oil. It has like a rose in it. That is so cool. So, the next product they sent over is the Farewell Frizz Blow Dryer, Blow Dry Protection and Heat Protecting Cream. Definitely happy to have this. This 
thing they sent over is the Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. Look, and the last thing we have is the Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioner Mask. Looks like that. So yeah, I'm about to actually finish eating my crab ball. I had a few little things left. That's what it looks like. That, then I'm gonna take a shower. And then once I get out the shower, I can show y'all what I got from Indie House and what I got from the Sephora VIP sale. Y'all, I added noodles in my crab bowl. Let me get y'all right. And I thought it was gonna be ramen noodles, but it wasn't. It was linguine noodles. And it's pretty good. And the sauce I got is so good. It's called like hot and tangy or something like that. Mm, 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 mm. All right, y'all. We are about to get into our haul. I'm very excited because I bought a lot of stuff. And just let me warn y'all, I bought a lot of lip products because I haven't been liking my lip products. I've been wanting something new, some more lip combos, and I love lip products. So you've been warned. My neighbor is so loud. I'm gonna start pulling out the bag. So the first thing I got was this Fenty Insta Matte Insta Setting Blotting Powder. Looks like super cute. Keeping your purse. That's what it looks like. But I guess you use this little Fenty sponge to dab inside of the powder to like blot your face. The next thing I got is a primer. This is the new one size secure the sweat primer. That's what it looks like. I've seen so many good reviews about this on TikTok. So this is probably gonna be my go-to primer for the summer. This next product is a hair product. It's the Amika Soulful Nourishing Mask. I actually bought this because when I got my tape-ins done by Jordan, he put this in my hair and it had my hair just looking so good. And y'all, this stuff smells so good. Like I would want this in body care. It smells so, 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 so good. Mm, it smells so good. And like I said, it had my hair looking healthy and just with like this natural shine to it. So definitely wanted to pick this up. All right, y'all, so this was a random purchase. This is the only fragrance I picked up from the store and this is from a brand called Abbott I believe and it's a clean fragrance inspired by nature it's vegan and cruelty free it says it's um, smoky incense cedarwood and sandalwood this just smelled so good to me and actually when I got out the shower I didn't put anything on because I was smelling this in the store like I was spraying it on um, paper towels because I had so much on me like so many different fragrances i wanted to make sure i actually liked it so i said once i got home today i'll take me a shower and i would spray it this is what the bottle the box looks like and this is the bottle mm, yeah this is it this is it mm, 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 mm. okay so getting into our lip products I got two of the Summer Friday, what are they? Oops, I dropped my lip butter balms. The color of the gloss is actually this color as well, which is probably just gonna be clear on my lips, so that's that. The packaging is this pink color, and the actual product is this pink color. Ooh, so I only got one foundation, and I got two concealers, so, um. About a month or two ago, I went into that same Sephora and I was telling y'all I wanted to get this, but I was gonna wait for the sale. This is the Dior Forever Skin Glow 24 Hour Radiant Foundation. This is such a beautiful foundation, y'all. This is what it looks like. I cannot wait to wear this next time I go somewhere. That's what I'll be wearing. And then, I don't know how I've never seen these concealers, y'all. I was swiping these on my hand. First of all, I love the applicator. Cannot wait to, I, 
I'm so excited to do my makeup, y'all. So I got two different colors because I like to go in with a couple different concealers just depending on if I want my under eyes to be light that day or what. So that's the first color. Kind of light, but not too, too light. And this is the color of the next one. This is 4.5 neutral. Looks the same. I picked up this blush. This is um, a house lapse blush. I believe I got the color water, yeah, watermelon bliss. Look how pretty that color is. Super excited to try this out. I'm trying to hurry up. And then I picked up this lip oil, well, lip treatment oil from Emmy Cole. I hope I said that right. Treatment. Look how pretty that is. How pretty is that color? Okay, body butter. This is the Way Body Cream in St. Bart's. I just wanted the whole collection. I already have the sugar scrub and I already have the body wash. I'm not a huge, huge fan of this body cream. I would say if you want it for moisturizing, you're gonna have to like add some oil to it. I really just got it because of the scent. I absolutely love the way it smells, but this really isn't going to shine your body up personally for me. It don't shine my body up and it don't really moisturize, but it smells amazing. So if you want it for the smell, then yeah, but oh, it the smell is breathtaking. It, next up, this was random, y'all, but I seen it in the store and I was like, ooh, 30% off of Sephora products. So this is the Sephora Facial Razor. It looked really cool, so I just picked it up. And it comes with, so it looks like this, and it comes with three extra blades. And like I said, Sephora products are 30% off, so I'm like, why not? Two of the same product. If you've never tried the Sephora, uh, what is this called? Best Skin Ever products, the foundation or the concealer, you are asleep and you need to. The concealer is $15, I believe, and then right now it's 30% off, and then the foundation is only $20. It is one of the best foundations I've ever tried. It is so, 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 so good. I was smelling that perfume. This candle was by that perfume, and I didn't know it was this expensive. I just told the lady, she walked up, she was like, do you need anything? I was like, could you give me one of those candles? Before I looked at the price, and she was gone for like 10 minutes, y'all. When she came back, she had the candle, and she was like, oh my God, it took me so long to find this. Like, it was so, so by the time I looked at the price, I felt bad, and I just bought it because I do love the scent of the candle, but this candle, this candle was $84. <laughs> oh my God. But it just smelled so good. So it's by this brand called Netty. I believe that's how you said Netty. Never heard of um this brand. And the candle is called the Musicians. And then on top of that, the way it looks, I'm gonna save this for when I move. And this is gonna be burnt in my office. This candle is gorgeous and it smells amazing. I just hope that it has a good throw. Oh, it smells so good. I told y'all earlier that I've just been obsessed with this green color. Like, I, I can't let it go. It's just so pretty. So the candle is super simple. It's just this beautiful, like, deep green color. Anyways, I cannot believe I was actually sitting here talking for 20 minutes. I'm going to have to edit that down because I don't know if, I mean, yeah, I'm going to have to just edit it down, girls. Everybody not into that, you know what I mean? But instead of just making so many things separate videos, I'd rather just insert it into a vlog, to be honest. Y'all, my new fragrance, oh, it smells so good. And um, my sister's coming. She's coming soon. I don't know if it's going to be this vlog. Or if I'm going to start a new vlog when she comes. But I'm giving her like probably like 90% of my candles. All those Bath & Body Works candles I bought. I'm giving them to her because I just want. Like I know what I like. Y'all know I found that Bath & Body Works scent that I'm obsessed with. That's what I like. I don't want. I want to have like a signature home scent when I move. So. I'll be giving her all of those candles and yeah, like, 
I'm just chilling. I'm home alone. Well, Sebastian's here, but he been asleep. On days where he go to daycare, he come home and he go to sleep all night long. Like, don't move. Don't wake up. Just sleep. Starting off our morning at Target because there's a new collection here. Let me sit y'all down. So y'all can see me fight for my life. Full parking spot. Um, there's a new collection here. And I ordered some pieces online that I really like. But the one I really want, like the pieces I really want, I didn't see them online. So, let's just hope they have them here. And y'all, it's 10, 13 in the morning. And y'all see, see all these cars. So, yeah. Um, and y'all, my stomach. God damn you. You gotta take that good spot. Oh, are they finna park right here? Are you parking right here? Yep. Mm. My stomach hurts so bad, y'all. I think it was that seafood. I really, really, really do. Mm-mm. Sus so got on her some six-inch heels, baby. Don't play with it. At 10 13 in the morning. I'm finna park in this drive up. I don't even care. So I was looking for these pants and they had my size. But I don't see the shirt. I don't see the shirt. Dang it. I ordered this swimsuit online. So I ordered this swimsuit online. Y'all look at the pants. They look so good. Look how long they are. Y'all know I'm 5'11". Don't play. I'm so happy I found these and this was the last pair in my size. <sighs> like, the last pair at all, but it just so happened to be my size. So these are cute and different. I actually ordered these online so I don't have to buy these in store. I like this part. It's very flattering and then they like the parachute out. This is also cute. So this is a kimono. This part. Super cute. And then those same type of pants. Flowy, long. I like how they have that white trimming. Been home for a little minute now, but I went straight to like cleaning up because today's Saturday. And it's a beautiful day outside. And I want to go to the park and just chill at the park. But first we had to get our house clean. I'm about to straighten up my bathroom right now. I got a lot of new products I want to like put up, so yeah, that's what I'm about to do. That's what I'm about to do. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I have these two shelves right here. I'm basically about to take all this stuff off and put the stuff that I want to reach for and use up there. So this is what I ended up doing. I ended up putting all my new Youth to the People products down there. Mostly all of these I use on a daily basis. Not this, but I tried this last night, y'all. It says start off using this one time a week. It's like a power exfoliant, like it's saying. It's for overnight use. So, so far so good. I used it last night and it's pretty cool. But this stuff right here, I basically use on a daily basis. And most of this stuff up here, I still have to try out. And then I also clean this area and kind of organize. We got some sprays and moisturizers and then a whole bunch of random stuff. But it's clean. I cleaned off the area. The room is also basically clean. I need to sweep the floor. But I think the broom broke. I honestly think the broom broke. Is the broom still broke? Yes, what you need for. I need hey, y'all. Just woke up from a nap. Today has been a day of doing nothing, to be honest. But... We're about to go down to like the little dog spa to give Sebastian a bath because it's been a minute. It's probably been, he he needs a bath every week. He goes to daycare and he play all day there. They walk around and just be stink all day. So every week he needs a bath. So it's been more than a week. So it's time for a bath. Let's ask him how he feels. How do you feel? Yeah. I really don't want a bath because I be wet and sometimes I be getting it in my ears and I hate that but it's gonna make me smell good and probably feel better so I guess oh his towel 
I like this towel. It's like a microfiber towel, so it helps him to dry off quicker. And this is his shampoo. I absolutely love this. I'm going to pick up another bottle while the sale is going on because this makes your dog look, feel, and smell amazing. So if you have an animal, get you some of this from Sephora Wise on sale. And then this is one of his brushes that we use. Before we go, I'm going to make him a lip mac and put it in the freezer so he can have a little treat um, for when he get back. Peanut butter is his favorite, so I'm going to do two of the squares and peanut butter. already broke Dion. Sebastian, look what I got. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It is Sunday, April 16th at 7.35. What? It's 7.34 in the morning. I've gotten up, used the bathroom, washed my face, taken me a shower, and now we're about to get ready because we're going to church, and I'm so excited. I've been looking forward to this all freaking week, and it's finally here. And we're going to try out some of our new makeup as well. I can't lie, I do got me a Celsius right here because my energy is low. Um, your girl don't wake up early, you know what I mean? Like, your girl just do not be waking up early. But if I did want to wake up early to do anything else, to do anything else in the world, I would. So I can wake up for church. I already know I'm not going to like this flavor. It's sparkling grapefruit and I do not like grapefruit. But all I have is flavors that I do not like. So at the church, we'll probably go grocery shopping. Not even grocery shopping, but Celsius shopping because that's the only thing I'm really out of. Y'all remember the Sephora haul? I'm just going to pull out the... <sighs> things I need from out of here. So we're going to be trying out. Mm, let me get you a little better. All right, we're going to be trying out the Dior um, Forever Skin Glow Foundation. It says 24 Hour Radiant Foundation, and I got the shade Nine In, and then the concealers. So we're going to go in with three concealers. I'm going to do Seven In. I'm going to do the 4.5 and then I'm going to do my favorite concealer which is like my shade. We have to be out the house by 9.15 because church starts at 10 and it's like 30 minutes away from me. So oh, let me see if I can turn this light on too. Yeah. The sun is so bright today. So pretty. So yeah, we're going to just do our makeup, chill out, relax, you know. I'm going to go in with the one size primer, which is the magnifying primer, sweat, secure the sweat, all the things. 
This is what it looks like. Oh, you got to use the top to open up. Yeah. Oh, oh. We just want to put this like on our nose. Has a little bit oh, like a weird smell to it. Smell lines. All right, so my eyebrows are done, and now we're about to do foundation, which I'm so excited. But I do want to tell y'all what I use on my eyebrows, just in case y'all are curious. This is the MCD Luxury Pencil by Miss Creative Diva. I use the color Ebony, and I absolutely love. This pencil is super pigmented. I was going to swatch it, but only got a little bit of left. I got to order some more. At first, I thought I didn't like this color because it was too dark, but then I just realized my hands was too heavy. You be got to be light-handed. Me, personally, I got to be light-handed because it is dark, but I like this shade. Because I also try, I believe this is chocolate or whatever the shade is a little bit lighter than this. And this is like my skin complexion, so ebony works for me. Yeah, this is this is what my brows look like. Let's give it a a good shake. And this is what it looks like. Instead of going in on my face how I usually do, I'm going to use the things I bought for this. So these are just like clear things you could put your makeup on. I'm gonna do. Let's see. I need my mirror. Okay. Oh, so this is the foundation. Let me know what we think. Um, let me know. They also have that foundation in the matte version too. So if you're a matte girl, you don't have to get like the skin radiant one. But I really just wanted to try that out because all of my foundations are matte. So I wanted to have something a little different. So let me know. I think it looks good. Now we're going to go in with the Sephora concealer. This is such a good concealer, y'all. It's very um, high coverage. It's 30% off right now. Definitely pick you up some of this for real. And this is like the first concealer I go in to just cover up. Now we're going to go in with this foundation. I mean the concealer and I'm so excited because... Let me see if y'all can see the applicator. I love the applicator on here. There's like a glare. We don't like that glare. Alright. Can y'all see that? Oh. Love this applicator. And as you can see, this isn't like super duper bright. Now the next one is super duper bright. Just a little bit. Right there. Let's, let's see what it's giving. I am aware this isn't my my tart shaped tape, which is super full coverage. So gotta be careful not to like you know wipe it all away. Pretty impressed with my base makeup. I think it looks. Pretty good. Anastasia Cream Bronzer in Cool Brown. I have one pair of lashes. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I can find some lash glue because you look a mess. <laughs> We're going in with the House Labs blush in the color Watermelon Bliss. Ooh, and so pigmented. Mm -hmm. This is so random, but I'm waiting for my lip plumper to start plumping, which it has started. But I just went to see if um, the Refi Primer was available anywhere. Oh no, my lash was available anywhere. And it says 
they have it at the Atlantic Station location, which y'all know I was just there. But we're going to see. This is not my password, and I knew it when I put it in. That wasn't my password. Like I said, I just got my lip primer on right now. Um, it's 841. So I kind of need to hurry up, but I'm glad I was able to take my time um, and do my makeup. I got on the Too Faced Lip Injection Maximum Plump. I'll have this down below if y'all are interested in lip plumpers. I'll actually list some of my favorites down below because I, I love lip plumpers and they range in prices. Like I have one right here from the brand Essence that you can get from... Um, Ota and this is probably like four dollars and then this one is probably like 30 so it just depends I do think Too Faced is the best when it comes to lip plumpers but you know the key to putting your lashes on is to let the glue get very tacky I'm going in with this Ami, Ami Cole, I believe that's how you say it, and the color is Bliss. Such a, like a baby pink, like a really light color. So pretty. Y'all, so I'm dressed and I'm gonna wear my new scent today, not the one I'm in love with because that one is more like it smells amazing, but it's more of like a just the everyday, you know, like smell good scent. This one is um really pretty, really what this one is like really pretty for spring, summer, like she gives the vibes. I do not know how to pronounce it. Oh, I come on. Wrapped up like this. Okay. The box. And it opens like that. It comes with like this little thing. And the bottle is like iridescent. It's so cool. It's like a whole thing right here. Not everyone is able to apologize when they make a mistake, but almost always it is the best way to end a conflict. Apologizing or asking for forgiveness is too often interpreted as an act of submission or weakness, pushing us away to continue on our own path. That's really cool. That's really cool. So that describes like what the perfume looks like. That's kind of what it looks like. And it's like this iridescent, ever-changing, colorful bottle and it has I guess those are like the wombs on the fragrance that is super cool love when stuff you know like has meaning behind it so this is the bottle it's so pretty like I don't know if y'all can tell but like it's purple right now when I'm looking at it now it's turning blue it's just a bunch of different colors and top comes off Mm, and it smells so good. I love to spray perfume like right there in that crease of my arm. Mm. This is so pretty, y'all. Um, if I can find this online, I will have it linked. It smells so pretty. Okay, let's do a church outfit of the day. So, this shirt is from h and I hope it don't say nothing crazy because I really don't know. This skirt is also from h and I'm obsessed with this skirt. Like, I'm going to be wearing this skirt so many different ways. Wow. This is from h and This is just like a, a cardigan just in case it's like cold. And then my Chanel bag. Um, My Chanel bag. And then this little... This little beaded bracelet, it actually came in a two-pack, but I only put one on, and I got my Cartier ring on, my other Cartier ring, and then the face, mm-hmm, these earrings, mm, I don't remember where they come from, I don't remember, I don't remember, but cute little earrings, and then I got on these little saloon back heels, who's calling me? 
You know I'm finna go to church. I'm finna get ready to leave. I like for the videos to go live at 12. That perfume smells so good, y'all. Oh my goodness. And I need to um put my stuff in my purse because I wasn't carrying that purse. So I need to put my wallet in there. Oh, and y'all, in my journal. So this is gonna be my journal where I write my notes at for when I go to church. Or if I do like Bible study or whatever the case may be. It's a brand new journal. Nothing has been written in it. I need to get me a pen too. I have some cute gold pens. Hopefully I can find one. But first things first, let's add these tags to my video. So I can be able to upload this at 12. So yeah, I will um I will be back in a second, y'all. I'm so excited to go to church because I I, don't, I haven't been to church much, like, as an adult on my own. Especially post-COVID, I've probably been, like, two times. Hopefully, I like this church. I do have another church um, that I want to try out, and it's actually closer to me. So, I'll be trying that one out sometime soon as well. All right, we're gonna leave for real this time. I just gotta feed the dog. We're about to leave for real this time. And y'all look, I found my pen. Very happy about that. Um, wallet. Car. Okay, that's everything. Are you ready to eat, Sebastian? Come on. And I am back. I'm debating if I want to sit here for a minute because everybody's trying to get out the parking lot. So, it's a lot going on. My phone. My video did go live at 12. It's 12.35. So, just want to make sure everything going good with that. I can't go nowhere if I wanted to because these cars are held up. I don't know if y'all can tell, but the cars are all like, and nobody's moving. Wait, wait, wait. Looks like, no, nobody's moving. Hmm. I'm back home. I'm actually, I think I told y'all I had placed that order um, at Sephora for that primer that they said they had. And it said I can pick it up, which means they must got a shipment or something because they didn't have any, so I'm going to brunch at 3. It's 1.30. I'm about to go to Sephora to pick that up. I'm debating if I want to change my clothes or not. Um, do I want to change my clothes? Do I want to change my clothes? And if I do change my clothes, what am I going to put on? So I'm gonna figure out real quick whether or not I wanna change my clothes or not and then I'm gonna head out, go to Sephora. Well no. Because I'm trying to I'm trying to make it so that I don't have to come back to the house. So Sebastian eat right now. I'ma take him outside and I'm gonna change my clothes. Yeah, and then we're gonna go to Sephora. All right, so quick outfit change. I just got on this oversized black shirt, which this is just like the white one I had on earlier in this vlog that I told y'all I love. These pants from Pretty Little Thing. I got these last year, so if I can find them, I will have them linked. These are like so good in the tall girl's dream. Chanel bag, same bracelet, same jewelry, and then um, my Tory Burch slash that I absolutely love. So yeah, we're about to head to Sephora. And I retouched up my perfume and also um my lip gloss. Bye Sebastian. I'm about to go again. You don't care? Cool. Love you. Hmm. Oh. Wait, is it my turn? 
the way y'all are just complimenting me. Okay, I think it's my turn. I'm going. Sorry, y'all. The way y'all are complimenting me on my braids, I just want to say thank y'all. Of course, I'm replying saying thank y'all, but and so many people are messaging me and telling me they're actually going to the braid shop, in which highly recommend. They do so good. Their braids just look like quality work. You know what I mean? And the price isn't too bad. So, love that. I'm actually um, so happy with my braids still. Before my trip at the end of the month, I'm going to see if I can just get my front redone. Because, y'all, like, that's my only problem with braids. I love for my hair to look neat. When they start, like, growing out and looking ashy, I would be wanting to take them out. But instead, I think I might just keep getting the front redone because I want to wear these for a while. I'm so comfortable with these braids. Like, I don't feel like, you know how, like, sometimes you wear an outfit and you feel like you're supposed to have a bust down middle part or a side part straight or curly you know i don't feel that way about these braids i feel like they can be dressed up or down so yeah i just want to probably get them touched up in about two weeks well I'm not i'm not completely to the point where i'm just like i need these braids out my head like i'm still in love with them so we'll see we'll see i'm next to this car and they have three what i presume to be um bullet like somebody shot the car three times the glass is cracked but not broken and the tent is really really dark i'm just curious like i want to show y'all but i'm also scared to pick up my camera because i can't see them but i'm sure they can see me because the tent is really dark and i just keep looking because <laughs> i'm just like because i thought maybe like i don't know if i'm more curious about how the windows aren't broken or if I'm more curious about who was shooting at this car. You know what I mean? Neither is my business. And my light just turned green, so I'm outy. But, yeah. Please let me get a spot in the front because the clouds are gray. The clouds are definitely gray. I just really, can I, can I, can I go? I don't know. Yeah. Ugh. I really enjoy coming to Atlantic Station. They now have my two favorite stores, which are Sephora and H&M. Like, for me, it gets no better than that. They got the movies out here, a couple different restaurants. Oh, they're having, they're having something out here today. I always get good spots because I'm nice to others. And that's what I tell myself, period. Yeah. Okay, but I'm gonna need all those cars to move because y'all know how I get down with my parallel parking. We got the pickup order and then some, but it's some good stuff, so we're gonna talk about it. But do y'all hear that music? I forgot on weekends they have like their tent set up, people sell things because I don't really come out here on the weekend. Finally back home, y'all. I went to LOA or LOA. I, it's LOA rooftop. I don't know if it's actually LOA or if it's a way to pronounce it, but that's where I was at, y'all. I got there at 3 p.m. It's 8.42 p.m. I was there for so long, just living my life, living my life. I'm about to take my makeup off. It's my... Why is my light on? I'm just about to take my makeup off. Find me some. I haven't been home all day. Y'all know I went to church this morning. Then I stopped by Sephora, which I thought we take our makeup off and get situated. I'll show y'all what we got from Sephora. But I have just been chilling today, living my life. Had so much fun at the rooftop bar, just like conversating and talking and just 
Have you fun, girl. I'm, I'm I'm just a little bit lit. Like I feel like not even lit. I feel so good. Like I just feel good. You know what I mean? So I'm about to play me a YouTube video. I need to find one. A lot of people uploaded today. Okay. Um, I really don't want to watch that to be. Skincare is done. I really wanted to do a face mask, but I'm just gonna do it in the morning because. I'm tired. I'm sorry if the lighting sucks. Usually I would um like turn my light on, but I left it in the car, so this is what we're working with. But we have Sephora. Now I went there for my pickup order. And the pickup order was just the fine um the refi primer. Which, like I said, I went there Friday. They did not have this, so they must have restocked yesterday. And this is the face primer. It says Glow and Sculpt. So, super excited to try that out. And I ended up picking one up for my friend Janae because we were both looking for those. And then, y'all, I got these little baggies. I am so excited. So, this was $48, and it says the retail value of this baggie is... A hundred and thirty nine dollars. So, yeah, this one has Anastasia um, mascara in it. It has a drunk elephant, sunshine drops. It has Tower 28 daily rescue facial spray. It has better than six waterproof mascara. It has a glow screen by Supergroup. It has the slather by Topicals. It has some type of Mario product in it. It has the uh, mini size of the Way St. Barks Trigger Scrub, which I really wanted. It has the Laura Mercier Tinted Blush. It has, uh, it's called the Sephora Favorites Vacay All Day Sun Ready Long Lasting Beauty Favorites. And it looks like this. I'm so excited about this. Are y'all going dead? Let me hurry up. And this is the Sephora Favorites Clean Me Up Kit. And this one looks like this. And it just has like all of these products in it. So if these are online, I will have them linked because this is really cool to me. From H&M, I just got these earrings. I thought these were so cute. Definitely giving like vacation vibes for sure. I just got these pool shoes that I also thought was super cute. They're just like made of rubber and really cute. So I have all this stuff linked down below. Good morning, y'all. I feel like I look so weird. That's because I'm so used to having lashes on and I pulled the rest of my lashes off the other day because I wanted to wear strips because I only had like six lashes on each eye. So now every time I try to go to vlog, I'm like, what? what's, what's up with me? Like, I just look weird, but it's the no lashes. <laughs> like, I just keep looking at myself and it's, it's, it's definitely the no lashes. But whatever. This, this is us. This is what we look like. So we move on. I just wanted to start off. First of all. You know I like to tell y'all the day and time. It's Tuesday. April 18th. 7.57am. I've been up since like 6. Um, I had a really slow morning. Like really slow. Like I spent like 40 minutes on the toilet. Just scrolling on my phone. Because that's what I like to do. Um, then I took me a shower. I just did my skincare. I wiped off the counter a little bit. Lit my candles this morning. Just a real slow morning. You know what I mean? But I did want to start off this morning by saying thank you to everybody that supported me in my sponsorship and my last vlog with Youth to the People. Y'all just don't understand how much that means to me to know that one, y'all like trust me and believe in me and believe what I'm saying because I know that sometimes it's like I know that it's in the past it's been hard to like trust content creators or whatever the case may be like you know how that go like people just be feeling like content creators be lying for a check basically that's never the case with me pinky promise never the case with me y'all know I love youth to the people I was using youth to the people before the sponsorship so it's just amazing that I was granted that opportunity if you do want to buy anything from youth to the people my code is still valid 
until I believe May 5th. So I'll have some of my favorite products down below and also the website with my coupon code that you can use to get you some products, try out some products or repurchase some of your faves, whatever case may be. Just want to say thank you and to just the people that just support me on my YouTube channel. Tune in to every video or when you can. Watch me, support me, comment, like, share. Thank y'all. Like seriously, thank y'all so, 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 so much. Like I just feel so blessed and I feel so honored to be like for y'all to choose to watch me you know there's so many content creators in this world and not saying y'all only watch me but for me to be in your weekly lineup of people you like to watch thank you like i i definitely don't take it for granted i appreciate y'all so much i love y'all so much and yeah i'm just excited i'm able to give y'all good content entertaining content quality content and all love of so that's that i just really that was on my heart this morning so i really just wanted to let y'all know like how i've been feeling so thank y'all thank y'all thank y'all today's tuesday which means a video goes up today i actually yesterday y'all i did nothing when I, well I, I did a little bit of something like i edited the video that's going up today i did edit that video um but as far as like things around the house Dion was off yesterday so we did nothing we just chilled out I did go to TJ Maxx though cause I'm like can we get out the house like can we do one little thing cause we was just bored just chilling in the house um so we did end up going to TJ Maxx and let me show y'all what I found y'all know I love melatonin that sounds so bad but I really really do love melatonin cause your girl will be up all night and that doesn't cause for a productive day like I took my melatonin last night and I was up at 6 o'clock this morning. That's the type of lifestyle I need. And once I start taking the melatonin and I wake up at 6 o'clock, naturally your body is going to get tired earlier. So you're going to go to sleep on your own sooner. So you don't have to take melatonin every single day. Well, at least I don't. But, girl, y'all, I've showed y'all this before. Y'all know this is my favorite melatonin. This, this costs $14 a pop. $14 for the 10 milligram melatonin. These were at TJ Maxx for $5.99. I got them all. I did. I got them all. I got all four. That's all they had. Because it's a 10 milligram and I love these. And like I said, they be $14 at Target. So I don't need these right now because I already have some. But yes, that is my that's my favorite melatonin. Like I'm just in a good mood. I just feel good. I'm happy. Like, yeah. I think, I think, I think we're going to apply for our apartment today, y'all. I think we're going to apply for our apartment. Mm, mm, mm. And tell me why I was having doubts yesterday. I had, um, I did, like, do a video of the apartment that I wanted. And I was looking at it and I'm like, do I even like this? I think I'm just in my head because... I'm the type of person, I'm very impulsive, which is a bad is a bad thing sometimes, but most times for me is a good thing because I just need to do it. Like I, I can't have too much time to think about it. I I can't. I don't need like all that extra time and to think about no. If I if I think I want it, I need to just go ahead and get it because I'll start doubting it questioning it looking around for something else and that's what was happening with the apartment i'm like do i even do i even want this apartment which the apartment as far as like the common area like the living room in the kitchen it's not the biggest space but that wasn't that wasn't like my main thing my main thing was the three bedrooms i needed to make sure i had three pretty spacious bedrooms that I can keep my life organized in, have all my stuff, have a place and a home. That was my biggest thing. The common area is not all that because to be honest, I don't spend a lot of time in my living room like at all. I like to stage it up, make it cute, and I'll sit in here sometimes, but I'm not really like a couch potato. I like to be in my room, girl. I love to be in my room, and now that I'm going to have an office, I'm going to be spending a lot of time in my office. So, yeah, I'm not, I don't need the biggest um, living room ever. So, yeah, I'm just excited. How to keep the
Okay, so let's try this matcha. It looks cute. Let's see. Cheers. Mm -hmm. That's it right now. Mm. This is the best matcha. Now y'all know. I just started making matcha at home, but this peak life, the sun goddess matcha, is so good. Not only is it good, but it has benefits. It's supposed to give you like radiant skin and energy. This matcha is expensive, but I think it's worth it. I be saying like the girlies on TikTok using this brand as well. I had a sponsorship with them, but I really focused on the other um, packets they have that I really, really enjoy as well. But too good in this cup. Don't focus on me, focus on the cup. There we go. And this cup is from, of course, Amazon, along with the straw. I'll have a link down below if y'all are interested. So cute. Mm. 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 All right, I took some cute pictures. I'm finna upload one on my story. And say, like, good morning. <laughs> Okay, so nobody asked, but I'm going to show y'all what I use for my at-home matcha. Okay, camera went dead, but we're back. So, I mix everything up in this. This was like $3.99 at um, Home Goods. Super cute. So, what I mix up in this is my almond milk. One, I use this little cap, and I fill it up like halfway of syrup. Then a little bit of creamer. So all three of these things get mixed up into here. And then I use like my frother. My oh I use my handmade froth. I mean my hand thing frother to mix all of that up. Inside of this little stir cup, I use the actual matcha powder. I told y'all that's the one I use with some warm water, warm to hot water, but not boiling. And then I use this little whisk thing to like whisk it all up in there. And then I pour it in, that's basically it. And then I rinse this cup out again, and I go in with a little bit of this creamer. Then I use my electric froster from the brand Instant. I'll have this link down below, it's like $25. But this just gives you really nice foamy, um, froth at the top of your drinks so yeah that's what I do that's all I do and that concoction leaves you with really really good homemade matcha so let me know how y'all make y'all homemade matcha like I would love to try y'all's recipes I'm trying to put this stuff up because I'm good for leaving everything on the counter Y'all, my nails look so bad. They look like they're about to slide off my freaking fingers. <laughs> I was going to go get my nails done and a pedicure as well because I need a pedicure too. But it's just like, I'm getting ready to go on a trip soon, which I'm super excited about. So I can just wait. I don't really have anything going on to where I need my nails done. Like... But they 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 do look bad. Can't even lie. Like since I get them like this, it's not as noticeable as like it would be if I had my nails like red or hot pink. But uh, yeah, it do look pretty bad. Right now, let me show y'all what I'm doing. So I'm waiting for that to complete. When that completes, that means all of this footage is onto the computer, exporting, and then I can start editing right now. This vlog is two hours and two minutes, which is crazy, but a lot of this stuff gotta be edited out, but I'm still also recording for this vlog, so I don't know, I've been enjoying. I've been enjoying um, putting out longer vlogs. They do better and I've, I, I've been talking a lot. I feel like I've been having a lot 
to share and to talk about and I get a few comments about the vlogs being like longer and just like I told one person like watch what you can you know you don't you're not you don't have to watch the whole thing you don't have to watch the whole thing um in one sitting come back if you want to or if you feel like you don't want to watch it no more just leave you know like and I'm not saying that like with an attitude or anything I'm genuinely just saying because I have to do that sometimes too when some creators put out two hour vlogs I can't sit there and watch the whole thing I have to watch what I can and I'll come back later that night or another day or sometimes I am able to sit there and watch the whole thing you know what I mean so do what's best for you I just appreciate the support either way you know so yeah Okay, y'all probably don't care about this, but I want to show y'all this real quick for like my little content creator. So yesterday, I wanted to take some pictures of like some of my Sephora items that I've tried out. And I set the products on here to just give me a different background. And look at the pictures, y'all. They came out so good. Like, look at this picture. That looks so good. Let me show y'all what it looked like on my Instagram story. Okay, so let me... Look at this. This looks so good. And I just used this little tray that came from Target. So I'll have this tray linked down below. But you can really use anything around your house. Like I just I just seen this tray and I used it. So you can use whatever. But this did come from Target and it's heavy. And it was what $25? But I'm going to put this back in my room right now. We about to make the bed. All right, so bed is made. I just love making my bed because it's so cute to me. <laughs> so bed is made, happy. So won't you say my name, say my name with that. I'm just trying to make your words with your actions. I need more than satisfaction. Cause you really about that action. And me, I'm never acting shady. You will always be my baby. Be my baby. Yeah, yeah. I think you should know that. So y'all remember um those gap outfits? They came. I'm gonna try them on for y'all too. I got like this um, stone color, which looks so cute. And then I also got it in black. Also, my Target order came. I didn't look at it. So. I told y'all I ordered these cans, but y'all see me try these on already. I just wanted to make sure from the um, Fee Noel collection. Love these pants. They're super flattering on me. So I really like that. I did order two of the swimsuits because I wasn't sure about what size I would have needed. What size is this? Okay, whatever. Well this is extremely too big. I could, like, that's too big. What size is this? This is a 4X. I don't even know why. Colorful pants. They had it on with the orange swimsuit so I'm going to try that one together for y'all and then I feel like they had on this swimsuit with these pants so I'm going to try that one for y'all and then I ordered two of these shirts because I didn't know what size I would need I think this is super cute y'all like all the different cutouts the little covers they got in the bra and the swimsuit, I hate. Girl, one of them is all the way over here, which got my breasts looking weird. But I think this is so cute. I wish there was pockets like right here. I keep doing like that. But this is really cute. Like, I like this. So I probably wouldn't wear this swimsuit as a swimsuit, but I would definitely wear it as a top. This is cute. I like that. Okay, so this is the orange swimsuit with the bottoms. And this is cute. Like, I like this. I like this a lot. Really, really like this. It doesn't even look like a swimsuit, do it? <laughs> yeah. 
and I love how long the pants are. If you're short, then I could just imagine how long these would be on you, but you know, it's not my problem. I already know I like these outfits. Um, from Gap, super cute. Love this color. So cute. And I love like where the sleeves stop at. I'm about to return this, the Target stuff that I purchased offline. I hope they don't give me no problem about the swimsuits. But then again, I can understand why um, swimsuits would be non-refundable. So, I guess we'll just see. Although I have books at the house, I've came on a book out and this sounds so good. I will find you definitely getting that one. Definitely getting this one. Like I was reading the um like the insights about like the summary of the book. And then I might get this one. This one's going pretty good too. I already told y'all about this book. If y'all have not read this, y'all tripping. So I'm back home and I actually think I'm about to go ahead and end this vlog. Um yeah, I need to start another vlog because I'm getting ready to go somewhere in a few hours. So I want to get ready and, you know, do all the things on that vlog. I basically showed y'all everything I got from... I basically showed y'all everything I got from Target. But I did get, like, some new Celsius flavors. I got, um... This sparkling strawberry guava. Or, yeah, guava. And then... Surprisingly, this is my favorite, and I think I told y'all before, I don't like mango, but I really like this flavor. I think I like it so much because it's not carbonated. I hate the carbonated Celsius. I really just like the one that tastes like juice, and it's the only one I've found so far that's like that. And I'm not a fan of grape stuff, but I did want to try out this grape. Celsius because I've never seen this flavor before so I think I'm gonna drink this one now because y'all my energy is low your girl okay like what time is it it's 5 33 and I don't even want to nap I want to go to sleep for the day so I'm about to try this out which I guess we could do this on camera real quick Mmm. The grape one is not bad. <sighs> Ooh, y'all don't like when y'all ain't. Ooh. The grape one is pretty good, actually. So, cheers to that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm about to start another vlog as soon as I stop this one. So, if you are new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you a part of my family. And if you are not new, thank you so much for sticking around, coming each and every upload. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.